Hey everyone, this is Mike Andrews. You're listening to the Business Boot Camp vlog. I just finished a run and 3.69 miles. Average pace 7.49, not too bad, not too shabby. I'm at Semiamu. Uh, this is where I spent a lot of my time running and watching this sunset right here. Pretty amazing. If you look over there, you can kind of see, possibly see, uh, that's White Rock, which is Canada, over there. But this is where I come a lot of times and just watch the sunset. I go jogging down here on the beach, and just an amazing place. One of these days I'll get a drone and fly over this place, but just so awesome, so relaxing, great place to think. And I just wanted to do another vlog for y'all. And today I want to talk about, you know, something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is millennials and the next generation of entrepreneurs that's out there. I want to get this so you guys can kind of see the water. It's much more interesting. And I'll sit down here. But uh, I was just, I've just been thinking so much about the entrepreneurs of the next generation and so many people talk about millennials and how we feel entitled sometimes and the attitude that millennials have so often. And although I see everyone's point, you know, us as millennials, a lot of times we think everything is free. We think everything is just kind of given to us. And I think that's a big trap for young entrepreneurs and, and business people that want to get ahead. Because I really think that entrepreneurship is the way for us to solve so many of the problems we have in our world. In our country, we see the political debates going on right now. We see uh, the presidency, all of that happening and all the problems that are being brought to the attention of the American populace. Uh, that our world, that our country's facing, whether it be political, economic, social, racial, there's just so many different facets that our country has problems and issues. And I really believe that it's going to be millennials that are entrepreneurs that will solve those problems, that will come up with creative ways to create businesses that will solve these problems, that will solve world hunger, that will solve, solve the expense of, of health care in third world countries, that will give health care to everybody, that will give education to everyone free of cost and be able to empower people to rise above their, their past, above you know previous generations that have gone before them. And so when people put every, all these millennials into a box of being entitled or feeling like, you know, they, a lot of people just give up on, you know, the 20s and teens, whether it be for hiring, they're like, well, they can't show up on time, and yeah, hey, I've dealt with it, I know to some degree it's true, you know, and, but I really think that as entrepreneurs, as, as young people, it's really, it just gives us more of an opportunity to stand out, because the people, you know, it, it's supply and demand because if, if you're going to be the one that's driven, that's working hard, that shows up to work on time, grinds, works 12 hours a day, puts in the time, uh, exercises, stays healthy, you know, doesn't come with an entitled, just is real, willing to work as hard as they can and put everything that they got into a job. There's, there's so few of those people out there nowadays that it won't matter what your educational background is, what your economic background, your political background, your racial background, because you'll stand out so much. So, although a lot of people look at it as a negative, the whole millennials and people feeling entitled and all of that, I really feel it's just an opportunity for those that who aren't like that. It's just their opportunity to stand out because the the massive corporations they're going to pay whatever is 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 necessary to get those sort of people. Because the, the, you know, the 50s and 60 year old guys and gals that are running these companies, that are the CEOs and the managers and all of that, they're the ones gonna be retiring in the next five, 10 years. And so with less and less people that are capable of fulfilling, fu fulfilling their role and taking over for them, the people that do that, the millennials, the young people that are able to rise above their generation and, and be mature, and just work hard, be able to grind it out, give everything they got to a company, to an organization, money's gonna come their way. And I think a lot of times, millennials are always trying to find where the next dollar is, but what they need to 
figure out is, hey, if I can be so much of so much value to a company, if I can be so so valuable to a certain client base or to a certain uh, niche, if I can be so valuable, if I can create so much value, that money is going to follow. And so I think that millennials is really an opportunity because it's the supply. It's like the supply and demand curve, right? If the supply is low, demand's high. You know, price is going to be high because it's like oil. When oil, the supply is low, prices go high because the demand's high. And so if, if there's a shortage, if there's a, a low supply of millennials and young people that can work hard, that can grind, that can, like, when working gets tough and it gets dull and they're not the ones that look at an 8 to 5, they're looking like, do I need to spend 12, 14, 18 hours a day? Do I need to you know, spend an all-nighter? Do I need to make another project? Do I need to stay busy? Do I need to make another sales call? Do I need to go knock on some doors? Do I need to call some people, do some cold calls? What do I need to do to become of so much value to my company that when they start thinking about with subtracting, with withdrawing, or retreating from the marketplace, they, they, they know that the last person they can cut is me. They know that I'm so valuable, I'm speaking from the millennial entrepreneur's perspective. You say, well, I'm not an entrepreneur, I'm not a small business owner, but you can be an entrepreneur within your business, an intrapreneur, someone that's within a business, but they have the entrepreneurial mindset. And because there's so few of those those type of millennials out there, you'll stand out head and shoulders above everybody else. You'll be given the job offers, you'll be given the money, you'll be given the salaries, you'll be given the perks, and all of that stuff will follow. But what you gotta focus on is that whether it's good times, bad times, whether it's hard, whether it's easy, you gotta be willing to grind it out. You gotta be willing to, to just to just put in the time, put in the effort. And a lot of times people will look at even me, you know, they say, well, you know, you're only 20 and you got the money and you can do this and you can travel and whatever. And now you're not tied to your business. You got employees and you're able to do what you want to do and focus on your passion with the podcast and everything. But it wasn't always like that. Like I still remember starting my lawn care business and just 12, 14, 16 hour days were very, very normal. You know, I still work long hours today, but it wasn't the type of work exactly because back then I was doing labor and I'd do that for 12, 14 hours a day. Then I'd come home and for four to six hours, I would be doing computer work, doing all the office work and making calls and sending emails and catching up and sending estimates. And it was a grind and working 100, 110 some probably hours a week, just seven days a week, just grinding it out. And now, yeah, I'm reaping the benefits but back then, I wasn't even getting a salary when I started my business. For the first year and a half, I never made a penny on, the, on, my, on, my, on my company. It wasn't until a year and a half into it that I started making a salary. And now, yeah, like people look at, well, you're making six figures just from that one business, and then you got the podcasting thing, you're making that money from that, and you got the book, and you got this and that. And it's just like, hey, step back and ask them the question, could they have done what I did for that first year and a half? I think a lot of, for a lot of young entrepreneurs and for a lot of millennials, they couldn't have done that. And so, but that's what's going to separate you. That's what's going to separate you as the listener, someone that makes the decision today to be like, you know what, I'm not going to be a part of this generation that just take, thinks that they got to take everything. I'm going to be someone that can give so much value to a corporation that I'm absolutely, I cannot, they cannot get rid of me. That's it for today, everyone. This is Mike Andy's on the Business Bootcamp Podcast.